everyone, in this video, we will be writing graphing form or standard form of a circle given a circle in the graph. So it's, what, what's going on here is that I have a circle here. We are supposed to come up with an equation of this form that would work for this circle. So there is, uh, others are going to ask, how did you get this uh, graphing form or standard form of a circle? There's another video that talks about how we got this equation. I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So our HK here represents the center of the circle and our R represents the radius. So let's have an example to better see how can we use this equation to to come up or how can we use this general of uh, this form right here to come up with an equation that would work for this specific um, circle right here so first we're going to determine the circle so the circle for this um, I mean the center for this circle is uh, this gonna be um, neg uh, this is gonna be 2 and negative 1 so that's the center of the circle, it's right there. And then the radius is we can count any direction, left, right, up, down, it doesn't matter. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So the radius would be equidistant from the center to the side of the circle. So the radius here would be one, two, three, four. So it's gonna be four. And then, so then we can go ahead and write the equation for this in this form. So that would, uh, we, we plugged it in. So this, by the way, represents our H and this represents our K and this represents our R. So if we plug these values into this, so this is how it's going to look like. So we have X minus our H is uh, 2. So that's a positive um, 2. And then that's a squared. So be sure that you put the square. And then that's a plus. I'm going to write the plus. And then we have a Y minus. We have a negative 1. So I write negative 1 right there. And then that is equal to the R is 4. And so I'm going to use a red one for this. So that's 4. And then we are going to square it. So then we can simplify this. Um, the final equation for this, oh, by the way, this is the squared right here. So uh, that's how we got the squared right there. Okay, so we are going to simplify this. So a negative and a positive is a negative. So I can go ahead and write x minus 2 squared plus negative and a negative is a positive. So I can go ahead and write y plus 1. So again, this one will turn to be a positive because that's a plus and plus. And then that's a squared is equal to 16. Now, I will give you a trick in order that it would be quick uh, when we uh, write the equation. We remember that for a circle, we this H, you switch the signs. I'm going to use a different color of marker for this. So we switch and we switch. So switch and switch the sign. So that's a trick. Again, you can show this way. I just showed you this one so you know where we're coming from. But I give you a trick so it's fast. So what the trick is, you switch and switch the H and K. So what does it mean? If this was a positive 2, I switch it. It becomes a minus 2. If this is a negative 1, I switch it. It becomes a positive 1 and then I write all the rest of them, okay? So let's have the um, next example right here. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. When you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we start with the first one. The center for this circle is negative six and four. So I'm gonna write negative six and four. Okay, now the radius here, you can count up, down, left, right, it doesn't matter. So one and two, so that would be a two. So we use the trick that I give you from the first example, switch and switch. So this would come out x plus six squared plus switch, that would be y minus four squared equals two squared is four. Because again, um, in the formula, we are supposed to square the r, r squared. So 2 times 2 would be 4. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. We have our center for this is our x is 0. 
and our y is negative, that would be uh, 0, negative 1, negative 2. So that would be a negative 2. So then the radius that we have here is, we count up, down, left, right, it doesn't matter. So that this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the radius is 5. So then the equation that we have here, so let me let me show you the, uh, the, the work for this. Again, this is our h, this is our k. So then we, because others are going to say, oh, we, how do we switch and switch? This is a 0. So I'm going to show the work here, and I'll give you the trick after that. So this would be x. You can have plus zero or minus zero. It doesn't matter for zero. So that would be, let's just take plus zero squared and then plus y switch. That would be y plus two squared is equal to, that's five squared is 25. So what is x plus zero? It's just x. Now here's a trick. When one of these either h or k is a zero, you don't need to write the zero. What does it mean? We are left only with x squared. So that would be x squared plus y plus two squared equals 25. Again, if the h is zero, so just write x squared. If the k was zero, so then it would mean it's y squared. So if it's zero, you don't need to write the plus zero because anything added or subtracted with zero is the same number. So if I add x plus zero, it's just x or x minus zero is just x. So the zero doesn't really matter. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.